Hey, it's Monday, and I have to go do my radio show. So guess what? You're gonna get to see me do my radio show. This should actually be one of my easier radio shows to do. Usually I do my interviews live, but today I have an interview pre-recorded that I just need to play off a CD. But, you know, I've noticed one of life's great mysteries for me is uh, on the day of my show, no matter when I get up and no matter how much work I have left to do, I always seem to take exactly as much time as I have and I end up rushing out the door to get to the station on time. Has anyone else experienced anything like this? My show is up here in this tower. I'm gonna be on time. I'm gonna be on time. All right, now it's two o'clock and I have a few things to do to get ready for the show for the show to start. First thing is to turn the phone to flasher instead of ringer so that it does not ring on me. I do have a few live things to do. Then, get the show recording on Audacity. All right, 10 seconds to airtime. Are you ready? And just a couple of button presses. The song you just heard was My Favorite Things from The Sound of Music. Songs about favorite things is our musical theme today. Enjoy the show! So now that we are safely on the air and I'm playing my CD, I want to show you around the studio a little bit. Actually, it's not too complicated a setup. I'm recording the show on this computer, that way I can put it on SoundCloud later. Uh, the phones actually do take calls and you can put them on the board. And uh, eventually I would love to learn uh, the specifics of doing that and doing phone interviews. This knob turns the monitor up or down. These buttons control the volume of the CDs and these buttons control the two mics in the studio. This is my mic right here. We have every level of technology. We've got CD players, tape players, and even record turntables here. I've never actually um, played a record on the air, but I have played a tape. Somebody brought a tape of her first ever radio show, and uh, luckily I'm born in the 90s, so I actually have used a tape recorder before. <laughs> we are a community station, which means that we don't do commercials, but we are legally required to read two PSAs uh, per hour. And so I have to look through this book of very ancient PSAs. There's some juicy ones in here, including one on pool safety. Uh, let's see, which one should I do? I think I'm gonna do organ donation today. So now that I'm done with college, I have time for projects like this. You know, a radio show where I interview a creative friend every week, a Twitter account where I post a historical peace treaty every day, vlogging every day in April. Why not? And you know, part of me thinks I'm doing the right thing with these projects. You know, my guests on my radio show have told me they really like my questions and they're grateful for the attention and the recognition that I'm giving them. And my YouTube audience has been really, really sweet and you guys have left the kindest comments. But these things are not a job. I'm between jobs right now and it's hard to justify something that I'm doing completely by myself as being worth it. And part of this is because I got really lucky the first six months I graduated from college. I got to work at the archives of the New York Philharmonic, which was really, really cool and mind-blowing what I learned from that. And then I got to work on a live radio show on the public radio station in St. Louis and learned how to do live radio in the first place. And I'm also really lucky that I don't have to pay student loans, so I don't have to have full-time work right this minute. But now it's tough because, you know, to get my work out there and to develop this creative career in radio journalism or research or whatever, I have to be scrappy. And when I'm doing all my own projects, it's kind of hard to find that energy to be scrappy because you're not getting that affirmation every day that you are doing the right thing, you know, you are supporting a team. So it's weird, but I'm going to choose to keep 
doing what I'm doing for now. Okay, now we are in the music library. It is floor to ceiling uh, of old phonograph records. Here's classical, folk, rock. I have to sign the logbook to prove to the FCC that I was indeed here. By the way, we are listening to Earl's show, Salsa Clásica con el Caobo. The great thing about this station is it's a college station, so there's everything. It's a classical show before my talk show, and then there's a salsa show afterwards. Thanks for coming and doing my radio show with me today. I'll leave a link to my SoundCloud in the, the down there for you to listen if you want to. That's extra credit. The requirement is that you tell someone you love them this week.